in my basket. What? I got bugs. They're bugs. Go find some more. Did you find one of my <laughs> some of the warpedness or waviness of the trusses. Uh, James is just putting some two by fours in between that are like 22 and a half, something like that, um, to make them straight, at least straight enough so that we, when we put on uh, the OSB, <laughs> um, it's, you know, it's not super wonky. That's the hope. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. What? <laughs> Looks like we have a lot of trusses to move. We have a legit tree growing in our bathroom right now. Beautiful hackberries grow anywhere. Chris Farley, and then you know, what we did was one of
was a, uh, Chris Farley having a heart attack. Can I open it with, with him having a heart attack? So I'm out here today with Ruth. I have to pull our garlic. Um, the bulbs started doing something weird. I think they started a new growth cycle. Um, well, I don't think. I know they did. Um, I don't, I'm not sure how or why, but they weren't getting watered for a little while. And um, it seems each individual clove started to bolt um, or grow a new plant. And they're looking pretty sad. So I, I'm out here trying to pull them up because they just won't, it won't mature well. It won't store well, no matter what we do. Um, it's just gonna be kind of weird. So I had already planned on not drying my garlic or curing it this year, um, because for the most part, when I buy garlic, I've noticed that I like to peel it all in one go and just chop it up and store it in the freezer. So that's what I'm going to do today is just pull it all and chop it up and get it in the freezer. The nice thing about this is that I don't have to peel individual cloves now. All I have to do is chop off the uh, stem and chop off the roots and then I can um, put it all into the freezer once I send it through the food processor a little bit. really good example of what was happening you can see that there was a bulb but some of the out outer cloves started to grow themselves and I believe it's because I didn't have enough water getting to um, the garlic for a few weeks and I don't know really how that happened um, because other things were getting water just fine but anyways you can see how it's separated from the overall bulb of, um, of garlic. So yeah, these will not last. They will never cure. Um, and they would probably never have matured because we're getting late in the season anyway. So although these wanted to grow its own bulb, it's just too late in the season um, to start growing adequate sized garlic. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna cut them off cut off the stems and call it good, but I still have a pretty good size of garlic here. Here's all the garlic I got. It's not very much. Kind of disappointing. Um, but well, hey, it's something. So hopefully you can see that. I have zeroed out the weight 
one of these scoops. And I'm measuring in ounces or weighing in ounces. So I'm gonna measure my cleaned garlic. I got 37.74 ounces. So I got just over three pounds of garlic, which makes sense because one of these typically holds about three pounds of food depending on the density. So I didn't quite get my five pounds, but hey, I don't know. There's always next year and I have three pounds of homegrown garlic. So I planted, planted one pound, about three pounds back, which I'm very happy about regardless. I still have some cleaning up to do, but uh, these are gonna get minced and put into some freezer containers or bags and stored for future. She's down yonder. She's over on the... Oh, thank you. So are yours. Where's River? Go get River. River! Go see me inside. Come come out here. Come see the big fish! Aaron, did you do that? Basically, we were doing it together. Big fishy. Yeah. 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 Count his teeth. How many has he got? I don't know. He got one, two hundred, six hundred. Seven hundred. Poke his eye. I don't like I'm just gonna tuck him from again. No. Today we are working on a milking stanchion for Moo Bear, she is due, let's see, at the end of the month, it's May, um, and she really needs a milking parlor. <laughs> um, so we are building that. James cut the wood for us, um, and I just have to make, well, I'm just going to build the base now. It is a lovely 5 million percent humidity today, uh, and I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I'm in one of those steam baths or something because I'm just dripping sweat for no reason. It's really lovely. But other than that, it's a nice gloomy quiet day. So I'm gonna get started on this no, no, no. and uh, we'll see, we'll see how it goes.
Oh yeah, we won't have the head gate done now. But I'd like to work on that tonight. Okay, good. No. Just so delicate and precious. What happened? It just came loose. You can put it back together. Yes, you can. Oh, I can. Well, if you can. What? What screws? The lag screws go in there. Is that the one? Board here, lag screw here, board here, lag screw here. No. Well, I think we're done for the night or for the day. James is over there chugging my water. Um, so we got most of it done, most of the stanchion done. We need to finish the head gate and that's four pieces that we need to finish. Um, can you hear the pigs? Yeah, our neighbor's pigs over here. Oh my gosh, every night. When he goes to feed him, you hear him. It sounds like some ravenous wolves or something because holy smokes. And they're pretty far away. They're just really loud. Um, I don't know what their hog operation is, but it's loud. I got the stall mat for the stanchion and that will help it not so it's non-slip. Um, let's see, we are going to be on calving watch starting the 25th of May. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm on a Facebook group for family cows and you always get mixed posts about you know some cows calving really easy and some not and so this is our first calving our first heifer um, it's our first everything so it'll be interesting to see how this goes I'm hoping my dad will be with me in spirit because um, if we have to pull or something that's gonna be interesting Oh, I did buy a whole bunch of supplies um, from an online store that people had recommended on the Facebook group. So hopefully, you know, we'll have stuff. I just need someone to teach me how to do a couple of things. Like I don't know how to drench and I don't know how to bolus or give a bolus. Um, so I need to do those. I need a little tube and stuff for drenching. Um, but I'm going to a milk cow class on the 20th just in time um, and I'll get to be able to you know figure out how milking works on a real milk cow um, and just get some insight on that I have been told that I need to start using like a stress ball or one of those um, grip things so we'll see what happens um, <laughs> no matter what I know I'm gonna have sore hands and it's gonna be a very interesting process, learning process for how to do this, but I'm ready for it and I'm excited for it. I keep thinking that we will seriously be Little House on the Prairie out here um, once, <laughs> once she is in milk because 
I don't know, I'm just gonna be hauling milk into the fridge every day. Um, I did tell my boss that when she does start calving, I'm probably gonna be taking, or when she does calve, and the day that she does calve, I'm gonna take that day off um, and probably take off some time here and there just to get used to milking her because it's gonna take me a while. So um, just, it's such a weird request to, to tell your boss, like, look, my cow, uh, is going to be calving soon and it's not like we're con you know I, I work at a university so <laughs> it's kind of it's a funny thing um, some of my co-workers have remarked before well I've never heard that excuse <laughs> so anyways well I'm gonna get these kids ready for bed um, get some dinner made and um, catch up or pick back up hopefully in the tomorrow we'll see it's supposed to rain so we'll see when we can finish this, but we're almost done, so I'm really excited. <laughs>